Hey everybody, welcome to Sid's Little Corner of the Internet. We've got another Transformers review coming your way. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Class Animated Universe Bumblebee. So as we always do, let's go ahead and take a look at that packaging first. And you can see right up there, you've got Legacy United. You have some nice alt mode artwork right there. He is uh, Mr. Bumblebee, Deluxe Class. Over here, you've got some sweet artwork. Soak that in, Transformers 40 years. On the back, you have your product shots. He converts in 22 steps. Down here, you have another 40-year logo. You've got all your warnings down here, and you have the sad baby. And frankly, I don't know why the baby's sad this time. The baby confuses me. Over here, you have some more artwork. I uh, got Bumblebee's little smirk, and he's looking good in his robot mode there. And then down low, you have some more verbiage if you care to read it in all those languages. So that's it for the packaging. We're going to chuck that out of here, and we're going to get into the meat of the review. Behold, laid out here before you is everything that came inside that box. And before we get started with all of this stuff, I do want to show you something else that came in the box. It's not technically, I think, an accessory, but it is this really, really cool uh, tissue paper that the accessories were wrapped up in. So this was that protective paper that they used. And this is the first time I've ever seen them use this type of paper with their figures. I mean, we've gotten the tissue paper before, but it's usually just been blank. I just thought this was really cool. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I feel like I'm going to keep it, even though it's got a tear in the middle. Anyway, get that out of here. And let's talk about the rest of this stuff now. So, of course, you have your standard uh, boilerplate warnings. And then over here, you have your uh, book of instructions. And then you're left with what you see here. And it's not a lot, but he's a deluxe class, and that's okay. So we'll start. These go together, so we're just going to talk about it. So you've got kind of your tip of your blaster or your rocket and uh, you can see it's hollow on the inside on that side looks pretty good over here it's just that uh, blue plastic molded blue plastic with some silver paint on it and then you have the matching piece over here which is that rocket and this is uh kind of in half as well maybe just over half and then you've got a full back to it but that's in that smoky clear plastic i think it looks pretty good it's not overly exciting and then you've got a peg and a port system here where you plug these in and then, you know, you've got a pew pew right there and or use it for a rocket when he's in his vehicle mode. And that's what both of these are. They are actually identical. So you've got left, you've got right. And that's it for the accessories. So let's go ahead and talk about the main event. Here he is, that smirky, snarky Autobot. We've all been waiting to see. This is the animated universe Bumblebee. So let's not waste any more time. Let's bring him in and take a look at what he has to offer. And we'll start up here at that face, and I think it looks all right. You've got that silver paint, nice blue eyes. You've got that black outline around the face. Of course, that little smirk coming on down. You've got his chest. It looks pretty good there. And coming on down to that lower body area. Everything comes together looking pretty good. He's a little on the chunky side, uh, but I think he comes together pretty good. No major hollow areas, at least on the insides of those legs. So he pulls off an overall pretty good look. And he's got nice stable feet. Let's take a look at him from the side. And you can see he's got just the tiniest bit of a backpack there, but that's mostly just the spoiler from his car mode. So nothing too major as far as that goes. And taking a look here, that all comes together pretty good. Looking up underneath, you've got a little bit of a hollow right there, but it's not too worrisome. And then coming around and taking a look at the back. I think he looks pretty good, even from this angle, really, for a deluxe class figure. I think uh, they did a fine job filling in gaps and hollow areas and using panels and all that good stuff. So no major complaints as far as that goes. I think he looks pretty good. A uh, little bit of detail on the back here. You've got the front end of the car. And then you've got some mechanical detail uh, as far as uh, right there on those legs. And then down here, you've got some panels, maybe some rivet lines. A little, little bit of stuff going on back there on that back panel, which is kind of cool. And then uh, biggest hollow area is just going to be right there behind the head. So you do have that, but really all depends on where you put his head because uh, you can move his head back as well a little bit and kind of fill that in. So that's up to you. But yeah, overall detail, I think he looks like a pretty good figure. Uh, he's a deluxe class, so, you know, try to measure our expectations. But uh, yeah, I think he comes together looking pretty good. Now we'll talk about his articulation. And we already talked a little bit about what you could do with that head, and that's where we're going to start anyway. So yeah, you do have the ability to move that head back a little bit, to move it forward. So that's up to you. And then you've got that ball joint right up under there. So as long as you've got the dexterity for it, you can lift his head up that far 
and then bring it down that far and then you can turn his head just keep in mind you got to move his chin a little bit to turn that head you can take it all the way around if you want to so pretty decent head motion as far as that goes coming over here to the shoulders you've got a couple things you can do with the shoulders but they are kind of limited so just coming straight out uh, well let me do this first actually you can bring the shoulders down on that kind of a double hinge area and then that'll give you that much motion up and if you bring it up you've got about that much motion before you run into this right here so but you can twist that out of the way and bring that up a little bit more it's up to you now you do have limited motion as far as the shoulder rotation goes so you can rotate the shoulders that far forward and this far back so that's the limited limitation that you're going to have right there just simply uh, rotating it on that joint in there so it's going to be a little bit limited nothing awful but uh, not the full rotation as we've seen in some other figures coming down here to the bicep you do get bicep rotation all the way around and then you've got that elbow bend so just keeping in mind the location of your shoulder so you can move these arms back and you can get that far if you bring it forward before you run into it you can get yourself just a little bit over 90 degrees it's just a matter of where you want to position that arm so you've got that rotation right there as well where you can take advantage of where you put those arms coming down here to the wrists you do have wrist rotation so use that how you wish you have waist rotation you can go all the way around with the waist and then coming down here to the legs if you get his arms out of the way you do get a full bumblebee van dam so that's a well over 180 degrees right there so job well done looking looking good all right kicking forward kick forward that far kick backward that far and then you have thigh rotation just, you can go all the way around just be careful don't pop it out on that joint right there and then at the knee you get a nice deep knee bend right there coming down to the feet you get a little bit of movement here with the feet so it's not a lot but every little bit helps i suppose so you get a, just a little bit down a uh, little bit up and then as far as the ankle tilt goes you do have ankle tilt you just need to be careful because you're going to run into this panel right here with your ankle so just kind of pull that away and then you can bring your ankle tilt that far out and then bring it back straight so you can get a pretty decent ankle tilt out of him it's not going to be the greatest but you can still do a pretty good job now that we've got the articulation out of the way let's go ahead and talk about the accessories and i'm going to start with the easy stuff first so you've got the uh, obvious make a gun kind of deal and uh, plug it into his hand and uh, there you go yeah you've got that so plow plow whatever you pick your sound effect whatever one makes you happy uh, and you can do that so that's pretty standard the other thing that you can do is you have these two ports back here so you can use these for the weapon storage you can just plug those in like that and uh, as far as i'm concerned uh, they double up looking like rockets so if you need a flying bumblebee to get you somewhere fast there you go you've got it and you can make that happen now just a real quick mention you do have a few ports everywhere for your uh, blast effects uh, i'm not going to celebrate the blast effect thing here you've just got ports here ports here ports there you guys can figure out what you can do with it as far as that goes so then the next thing that we're going to talk about it's a little more uh, on the well it's not difficult it just requires some dexterity so the what you can do is you can actually take these two pieces right here and then you can plug them into each other so you've got a port and a peg on the inside right here and then you can plug these two together i will tell you it is not the easiest thing in the world to get this back apart so keep in mind once you put it together best thing you can do is just do a twist like that and then try to grab the edges and start twisting and pulling those apart otherwise uh, you're probably not going to have a good time but yeah so you put these two together like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to take his hands so you're going to open these panels up right here and you're going to flip those hands in and then that's going to leave you with these little ports right there so you're going to do that on both sides and then you're going to adjust these arms right up like this and then you're going to plug this bad boy in to those ports i am going to just do a real quick edit so you do not have to watch me struggle to do this it's not horrible it's just uh it would be a waste of time in the video to sit here and watch me try to finagle all this uh with my hands trying to get into tight spaces and there you go quick and painless so you can see you just plug those in right there just like that and then uh, he can just do what he does all day long you can move these a little bit i mean just through the range of the the arms themselves 
but you're pretty much locked in as far as anything else goes for articulation just because you're pinning these parts in right there. But yeah, there you go. Something kind of cool you can do with those accessories. So overall, the accessories aren't the greatest, but they're not the worst either. They, they're just not overly exciting. But yeah, uh, there you go. So what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into that transformation. The first thing that I'm going to do to get Bumblebee transformed is tuck these hands away. You can do this later if you want. I just do it now. So you're going to lift that panel up. You're going to swing those hands in and then you're going to close that panel back up. You can leave it open if you want. It's going to need to be open for what you do later. But for now, I'm going to close it just to keep it out of my way. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to lift that panel up. I'm going to swing that in and then I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to work on these legs. So first thing that I'm going to do, just basically this whole lower body, is I'm just going to do a 180 degree rotation at the waist. So I've got that turned around. Now I'm going to come over here. You've got these panels right here. I'm going to open these panels up right there. And then you're going to tuck away that kneecap. So close that kneecap right there. And then you're going to close this foot. So make sure you've got that ankle tilt straight. And then you're going to do that. All right. Leave this open. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing over here. So open this panel up. Close that kneecap. Tuck that foot away. And now you should have two of those open like that. So what we're going to do is you're actually going to rotate this entire piece right here. So rotate it like this 180 degrees. All right. So it was like that. Now it's like that. So rotate 180 degrees over here. And you can see how this is all coming together as far as the front end of the car goes. And then you can go ahead and collapse these and push those in. Do the same thing over here. And then you can bring these two legs together and give those a push. And then you have the front of the car completed. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take this chest assembly right here. I'm just gonna grab it right here and we're gonna pull it straight up. It's going to disconnect. You've got a little slot and a tab right there. So we're gonna give that a pull in there nice and tight there we go give that a little pull and then just make sure as you're collapsing this that the head doesn't get caught anywhere so then we're going to rotate that through and then up and then you've got the roof of the car completed and then you can see where his head has tucked away now this opens all of this up right here the first time i did this it was a little scary it may be the same on your figure but you're going to need to basically bend Bumblebee right here. So this entire lower section is going to bend up and come forward under the car. So that snap right there, that's the one that really scared me. But then you're going to not collapse that. You're going to bring all of this forward. And then you can see you've got those tabs right there that are gonna tab into the hood. I'm not gonna do that yet, but there's your general shape, okay? Now what I'm gonna do back here is I'm gonna bring these arms so they're down like this. And then I'm going to open them up and then I'm going to collapse this in on that double hinge right there. All right. So we're going to do the same thing over here, bring that arm down, open that up and then collapse that on that double hinge. All right. And then this might fall apart on you. That's okay. If you want to right now, go ahead and tab that in. It may not stay, but kind of give you an idea of where we're going. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is now I am going to open these panels up right here and then I'm going to rotate this around and then I'm going to bring this up. So what you're doing is you're bringing these arms up just like that and you're making the side of the car. So over here on this side I'm going to open this panel up. I'm going to rotate that around basically at the elbow and I'm going to bring this up right there and then you can see that little little tab right in that area and then I'm going to collapse that in. All right, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this spoiler and rear of the car down. So you're gonna swing this down, bring that, what I, I'm calling it a spoiler, it's actually a bumper, bring that down. And then you can see these tabs right there. There are slots right inside where that's going to align. So just give this a little bit of a pull to get that in there and then get those lined up and then give that a squeeze. And then really you're just down to your final squeeze and make sure that you get everything together as well as possible. You are gonna have some gaps here, at least in my copy I do. It's just the way he's built. So he's not perfect, but he looks pretty good. And there you have Bumblebee in his vehicle mode. And here he is in that vehicle mode on the turntable. Just wanted to give you that unobstructed 360 degree view of Bumblebee in his vehicle mode. I think he looks pretty good. 
Could have used paint in a few areas, but overall he turns into a nice compact vehicle. Comes together really good in my opinion. So uh, we'll get him, give him a little bit more time to come around here and then we're going to get that turntable out of here and then we're going to take a look at those details. But yeah, looks pretty good. So now's our chance to bring him in for a close up here and take a nice look at everything that he has to offer in vehicle mode. I Like I said, he he's not perfect. You can see just quick overall, he's got some gaps. And anytime you try to squeeze one gap, something else, else pops loose. So there may be some slight tolerance issues from the factory there as far as everything lining up. But the overall look of this guy, I think he comes together looking pretty good. So there's that front end. You can see you've got some grill lines right there, and you've got that silver for the headlights. Of course, you've got that black racing stripe. Down here, you got some black for that grill. And then down here for the, uh, what looks like maybe auxiliary fog lights, something like that. Coming over here to the side, number one, this guy does not have mushroom pegs. Thank you so much. He does have this metal rod right there, that rivet, uh, rivet head right there versus just that painted right there but still it blends in it looks good i'm not gonna get too upset about that you've got a door handle right there so there's some detail built in and then you've got a little bit going on in that window and of course those little mirrors on the back this is where i think he could have used some paint you know maybe something back here it looks like he could have put it maybe put some red for some tail lights right there uh, but he does have some accessory ports that you can take advantage of there and they're coming over to this side it looks suspiciously like the other side and then from the top here he is, and he's got his little red light right up there, which is cool. Little Bumblebee symbol, or a Bumblebee Autobot symbol. And then down here, this is what he looks like when he's all compacted up in his vehicle mode. So yeah, I think he comes together looking pretty good. I have no major issues with this alt mode, except I would have liked to have done something about those panel gaps. Uh, but everything else, uh, he's, he's a fine little vehicle. As far as accessories go in the vehicle mode, there are a couple of things that you can do. So we'll just bring our little rocket guns in here. Just something I want to make a quick note of. So you've got a nice long peg right here. These ports are a little shallower than the peg, so you're only going to get them in so far. Just something to keep in mind there as far as the overall look goes. But yeah, you can plug them in right there. You can plug the other one in right over here. And then you've got some nice shooting action going on. Looks pretty good. Or you can take them up here and you can plug them in up here. Again, that's going to leave a gap. You can either have them facing forward or, well, I guess you could have done it on the other side too. Or have them facing backward uh, to simulate kind of a rocket. My preference is backward. I think he looks pretty good like that. Well, they're symmetrical. I think he looks pretty good like that. You know, get a nice fast bumblebee going on. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you do have those ports on the back right here. So you can take full advantage of your blast effects and throw a couple of those on as well. And now you've got a really, really, really fast bumblebee taken off. That was not a fast takeoff, but you've got a really fast bumblebee taking off that you can use those accessories for in this alt mode. So definitely some fun can be had with this guy in his vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and jump into the alt mode comparisons. And our first comparison here is going to be none other than the G1 Bumblebee. Moving on to our next comparison, this is the Transformers animated spring-loaded Bumblebee figure from many, many years ago. This is actually something that uh, my wife and I picked up for Sid when he was just a few years old to kind of ease him into Transformers. And you can see they've done a fine job here of capturing that. These two guys are almost the same size, look a lot alike, but the only difference is just back here where they have those hinges for that spring load. So yeah, this is one of those guys, you push the button here and he pops up and almost completely transforms into bot mode. And for our final alt mode comparison, this is a couple of Legacy United figures. Of course, on the left is that Legacy United Animated Universe Bumblebee. Next to his boss, this is the Legacy United Animated Universe Voyager Class Optimus Prime. That's going to do it for the alt mode comparisons, so let's go ahead and get Bumblebee transformed back into his bot mode. Let's go ahead and get Bumblebee transformed. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here and I'm going to spread these two pieces apart right here. That's going to allow me to take that rear bumper, pull it out, and then I'm just going to raise that up and collapse it just like that. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to swing these arms down. So these arms are those uh, door panels right there. And I'm just going to grab and pull it back a little bit to clear that tab and then swing those down. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, pull it down, or pull it back, and then swing those down. Now I'm going to open these arms up, so I just give that a pull. That's going to expose all of that. 
while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of these arms. You can do it later if you want. I'm just going to do it now. So I'm going to swing those hands out and then I'm going to close these panels right there and then do the same thing over here. Swing that hand out and close that panel. And then for the most part, I have the arms completed. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. I'm going to make sure that this is disconnected right there. Those tabs have come out and then I'm going to swing this lower body down and then you're going to swing this all the way around at that point of rotation until you get that click right there. And then once you've got that click, I'm going to go ahead and take that waist, rotate it 180 degrees, and then I'm going to split the legs. So just give these a wiggle until they come apart. Now I'm going to reach up under here and I'm going to make sure that you've got a little bit of space right here. It makes it a little bit easier, but I'm going to reach up under there and I'm going to lift that panel up right there. And then once I do that, now I'm going to take this piece and rotate it 180 degrees. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here so we can do it all on one side when we're done. Lift that up and then we'll rotate it. And then I'm going to come around to the other side of the legs. And then you can see you've got your feet tucked away in there. I'm just going to lower those feet down. I'm going to take these little kneecaps that are not the easiest thing in the world. So I'm going to use a handy dandy tool and get up in there. And uh, yes, uh, if you like Legos, you might recognize that. And flip that kneecap out and then close that up. And then you've got one leg done. So same thing over here, bring that foot down and then pop that kneecap out. Break his kneecaps, just like he's in the mob or working. He owes money to the mob. That's what I was saying. Oh, did you see that? I collapsed that thing back down when I touched it. There we go. Lift that up and then close that leg up just like that. And now that we're here, I'm going to go ahead and move these arms out of the way. So I'm just going to swing those down, swing those out, swing those down, swing those out. And then all we're really left to do is collapse all this. So we're just going to grab right here and swing this around. And then you're going to see that head is going to pop up. Now, before you get it all the way, you've got a tab right here and a slot right there. It's not the easiest thing in the world to see, but make sure you get those lined up, give that a push and that'll stay in there nice and firm. And then you've got his head popped up. Now it's up to you. But what I do is I move his head back a little bit, but you know, that's up to you. But then once you have that, you have a bumblebee back in his robot mode. For our first spot mode comparison, here we see that animated universe bumblebee on the left and on the right is the G1 bumblebee. Moving on to our next comparison, this is also the animated universe Bumblebee. This is just that original figure, uh, spring-loaded figure that came out many, many years ago that we picked up for Sid when he was just a little kid. And last but certainly not least, this is the Legacy United Voyager class animated universe Optimus Prime. And that's going to wrap up the bot mode comparisons, so let's go ahead and get into those final thoughts. So there you have the Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Class Animated Universe Bumblebee. And I think this is a fine little figure. He's a lot more fun than what I was expecting. I do question the price point a little bit, but it's the price you pay for Deluxe Classes nowadays. Let's go ahead and jump into it and we'll start with the overall looks of this guy, the aesthetic. Uh, I think that he brings a really nice shelf presence. He's a fun little bot and he's a fun little vehicle mode. I don't have a lot to complain about here. Uh, really maybe just some very minor hollow areas in his bot mode and in the, the alt mode he's got a few gaps just some panel gaps that i would have liked to have seen them tighten up but for the most part i think he's a pretty good figure i'm going to give him a nine out of ten for his overall looks moving on to his articulation it's pretty good again for a deluxe class figure you get a good amount of articulation here uh, he's a little funky in his elbows or excuse me in his shoulders the way that they work um, also in his elbows as well but primarily in the shoulders uh, and then down at the ankle, you get interference when you try to do that ankle tilt just in the back where he rubs up against that back panel. So not a big fan of that, but you're going to be able to get this guy in some pretty cool poses far better than what I do, uh, like you, as you can see. But yeah, overall articulation is pretty good for a figure at this price point. So I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 on articulation. Moving on to the accessories. Again, keeping in mind that this is a deluxe class figure, you know, what, what to expect uh, I think these are okay. They're they're not the greatest thing I've ever seen, um, but 
You can do a few different things with them. I love the fact that they look like rockets in the vehicle mode. I really enjoy the fact that you can take these two pieces, put them together on his hands to make that big boom uh, when you've got him in his bot mode. So I think that's pretty cool. I would have liked to have seen the elimination of the hollow areas underneath these. That would have gone a long way as far as I'm concerned, but I don't know how they would have done it uh, any differently really without adding more plastic, so I get it. But overall, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I think they fit this figure pretty well, so I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 on accessories. Now, moving on to quality, I have no issues here. He came with everything that he was supposed to. He transforms the way he's supposed to. A few minor gripes are that some of the joints could be a little tighter, not picking on any one joint in particular, but just overall. Basically, anywhere where you have these pins uh, just could have been a little tighter, but he holds his weight. He holds his weapons. No issues there. He's not going to just fall over on you because he's loose. And then in the vehicle mode, as I mentioned earlier, just those panel gaps. I would have liked to have seen a little bit of uh, extra attention paid there, but everything else is great. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 for overall quality. So bringing us to our last bullet point here is overall value. Uh, this is where I'm going to ding him the most. I mentioned it just a few minutes ago. He just doesn't feel like he should be priced at what he's priced. I understand that he's classified as a deluxe class figure. I understand that the MSRP is what it is, but this guy feels like he should be just a step below. I don't know if it's because of his size. He's got a relatively decent level of complexity here as far as the transformation goes and looks pretty cool getting it done. I don't know what it is about this guy, but he just doesn't feel like he's worth the money that I paid. And speaking of the money that I paid, uh, this was a figure that I picked up at a local target for 25 US dollars. So I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 for his overall value. I, I just think I uh, would have liked to have seen it a few dollars cheaper. So that brings us to our grand total out of a possible 50 points. The Legacy Animated Universe uh, Bumblebee gets 41 out of 50, which puts him at 82%. This is a figure that uh, if you like the animated universe stuff, I think you're going, going to like this figure as well. Uh, and if you like Transformers in general, this is a fun figure to have and to play with. And he's small enough to, you know, just mess around with and, and have some good imaginative play, especially for the younger people as well. So, yeah, overall, good figure. Uh, just would have liked to have seen him a few dollars cheaper. But with that, that's going to wrap up the review. I hope you guys got some good information. I hope you got some entertainment out of this. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And one nice favor to ask, if you like what we do here or if you know of anyone that may like our content, please share this video, share the channel. It's always fun to watch the community grow. So until we see you guys in the next review, take care.